was horrible. Scungy, chunky. Hello, my name is Dave and this is 4 to 4 Golf. If you are new here, I make golf videos out of Perth in Western Australia and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel. Today is all about scrappy golf. Just like that tee shot. So you know those days where things just aren't quite going to plan and you've got to try and put a score together. We all have them. So on this first hole, this par four, I've snookered myself behind this tree. There was a hero shot on around the other side of the tree, but this was a bit more comfortable for me. Pl trying to play a big cut here, um, basically a slice, just leave the face wide open, get it running as fast as possible. And if it gets anywhere near the green, that's great. I came up a little bit short with a pin up at the back of the green as well. So I've got a shot uh, 30 meters or so. I'm just trying to get myself in a position that I can make a par putt. This is a shot that I get a hole on. I'm an 11 handicap on this golf course at the moment, and this is stroke index five. So if I can uh, get myself in five for two, that's great. If I can steal a four for three, that would be even better. So I've got myself lined up. I'm seeing a little bit of break in this, but it doesn't turn. Does that mean it's a bad putt? No. So don't beat, beat yourself up about it. Take your bogey, your five, two points, on to the next. So the next hole is an uphill, normally drivable, well, not normally drivable, but possibly drivable par four. Uh, wind's dead into it today, so I'm just hitting a four iron. And honestly, I don't hit a four iron much better than that. But this wind is so strong, that is basically 20 meters further back than that club would ordinarily be. So I'm adding two clubs to this approach as well. From 100 meters, I'm hitting a nine iron. And um, this is also a little bit uphill. So I need to, um, I need to fly this that whole distance, really, um, because I'm not going to get any roll at all. I was pretty happy with it. I couldn't really see where it was from back there. It was just off the side of the green here, as you can see. Uh, long range birdie putt. You're really just thinking of the pace here. And if you get the line right and the hole gets in the way, then fantastic. But this one was cozied up there nicely. So I just wandered up and tapped that in for my par. Um, I do a pretty good job of having a chat on the way around. So I'll leave you to Dave on course. Right, so 150 this par three today, 151 actually, which is about what it normally is. And ordinarily I'd be in a, a six or a seven iron at most really, but this wind is gonna need a bit more, so I'm hitting five. You don't need to be a hero on this one, it's middle of the green. It's probably one of the hardest greens on the golf course to hit, so. In higher, but it's on the right. Bailed out massively. win a long drive contest but I'm in the hole. Okay, don't need to be a hero. This is a layup but it still needs to be a shot I want to hit. Think it is 
just short of that bunker a little bit. I've got 85 meters to the pin. Into wind a little bit. I'm thinking about flighting one down, but in the end I've gone with a full, full 54. And my thought process is such. If I get it absolutely pure, it will spin and it will come back. Uh, if I get it a little bit less, it's going to be okay. If I chunk a pitching wedge or if I smash a pitching wedge that I'm trying to manipulate, I'm probably in a worse position. So let's see. All I can do is, is go with a strategy and then commit to it. So it's a full 54 degree. Wrong shot, wasn't it? All right, up and down at the bunker. Pretty straightforward bunker shot. I've got plenty of green. Get face open. Quite a bit of sand. Accelerate through the ball. Should spin. Aiming for the top of the flag. a completely different bunker shot and it ends up okay. Oh well. Oh wow. Alright, it's a bogey. And on we go. Okay, so I've got a bit of a gap while uh, there's no one around me basically and I just wanted to have a chat about where I was up to and um, what I'm trying to do out of this round. So I had a lesson yesterday. I am trying to make a delineation between the stuff I'm working on in the lesson and I'm actually playing golf. But I'm not someone that really does well just sitting on the driving range. Um, I get bored, quite honestly. Um, and um, I like to do the bulk of my practice actually out on the golf course. So I'm trying to combine the two. But for these last few holes, I'm gonna forget about what I've been working on. I'm just gonna hit the ball. And we'll see if that makes any difference. I've given up, so I could get tempted to hit driver here because the wind's behind now, but. So after that wild three wood, that it did all right. It went, it went pretty far. I've got like 110 left, just so far offline. Uh, the green is sort of over there somewhere. I can't really tell or see it. So I am playing a little blind here. If, if the camera's picking up, there's a yellow flag of the third hole up there. That's kind of my start line, trying to draw it. Gonna leave this running, we'll go up to the green and see. And that ladies ladies and gentlemen, why you don't ever give up? Pretty 
decent four from after that. got over that tree because it's it's ended up over here uh, I've got 170 left into the green it's sloping away from it a little bit so what's going to want to go right um, I'm hitting the six iron That was horrible. Scungy, chunky. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it, but I've got an opportunity to get up and down, as my good mate uh, Dougie Barnard would say. bit long but that's all right I've got a par putt <laughs> not my day today And I go to four over. Okay, I've only got 126 left, but dead into wind again. So um, I'm hitting the seven iron. Gotta to remember to commit still. Or first part, that's what cost me there. Okay, I've got about 160 to the pin this time, but now I've got the wind behind, so. Same club actually, I'm gonna hit a seven iron and uh, just try and think about that, that good swing that I put on that one there.
might just be off the left of the green. Just. Pretty good swing though. So it was, it was exactly pin high, tee box is back there. But uh, back, I'll go and fix my pitch mark. See, only takes two seconds. All right, so I'm just off the green, but I am gonna putt. I've got about uh, 23, 25 feet. I'm gonna break a little bit. Considering chipping this, will be on my handicap. Final hole, five over, and um, my handicap of 11 means that I get five shots on this nine, so at the moment, I'm on my handicap. Right then folks, it did not. So it's not the end of the world. I basically still need to go up and kind of around that corner anyway. So we just got to get it out. Well, it's a lot closer than the tree one I liked, but um, that'll be okay. Very happy with how that turned out. So, then we're back on that fourth hole, and I had 80-ish, something like that, and I said, I'm gonna hit that 454. Well, now I'm gonna hit the pitching wedge. Um, and let's see, let's see if it's any different. Chances, chances to beat my handicap. All right, folks, this is it. I've got about five feet. It's gonna move like that, though. Got it. That's a birdie. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. Subscribe below. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. All of that good stuff. Dave from Fortville Golf. Thank you very much. Done it.